Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Over the weekend, I did work on this bedroom. I had so many projects on hold, uh, mainly upstairs, and I am finally tackling them. I know that it's probably not the right time because we are so close to the holidays, but it was well needed. This was actually Martin's room, and we're going to be switching rooms. He's going to go into Oscar's room, and Oscar's going to come into this room. He recently did this mural on his wall. He loves the kids next door and we were actually going to paint it uh, at the beginning but since they are going to be moving or switching rooms what I'm doing is transferring the mural into some uh, freezer paper and that way by the time we are getting into his room that way we can just transfer it and do the whole painting on it it's one of his favorites cartoons and so I just didn't want to mess it up he took so long he took his time to draw it on the wall and so I'm not I'm just not gonna get rid of it so that's why I'm transferring to the freezer paper now I'm gonna put the timing down on the description in case you just hear for the uh, geometric feature wall um, but if you're also wanting some motivation stay through the whole video so that way you guys can see the transformation from being so messy and to an empty room we are not going to be decorating the room all i'm working right now it's just doing the feature wall and then on the next video i will be sharing with you guys how we uh, decorate it especially because we're on the holidays and we are going to be putting a christmas tree so if you're not uh, subscribed subscribe to the channel and also turn your belt on so that way you won't miss on the next video I'm going to go ahead and prep the room, uh, prep it for the painting and the priming. I did took some of the command hooks that I have up in the wall since last year. We did put some decorations over it on Halloween. We never took them down because we thought we were going to use them again this year. And we're probably going to be adding for more other decorations. But yeah, I took down all of those command hooks and also the curtain rod. We're not going to be putting a curtain rod until later. I did put some t uh, painters tape down on the bottom and also on the window, pretty much just to prep the whole thing, taking out all of the outlets or the cover outlets and getting ready to paint. Since the walls are brown, I'm gonna be priming them with some primer. And I hope that this doesn't trigger some of you professional painters, but I am doing it the lazy way. I'm not putting none of the primer into the container and then just uh, paint it. I'm going straight from the bucket. I will be using this bucket through the whole house upstairs since we are painting the whole upstairs. And I just thought that it was just much easier for me. And I feel like that I'm not gonna be wasting a lot of primer. This part right here was so sad for Martin he was recording and he was like no you're taking down my mural but like I said we are transferring to his uh, new room and this is uh, going to be a three-day uh, project since I wanted to wait uh, for the primer to get dry and then ready to do the white paint I did paint the entire room in a white cotton I will be putting that on the description in case you guys want to do the same color. And then Oscar was working on his pattern that he wanted it on a feature wall. And we decided to do the feature wall here by the window. Now I'm going to be honest with you. At the beginning, I thought it was going to be too much work, but no, uh, you can do the feature wall in so many ways. You can either make a sketch on a piece of paper and then just transfer it from there like the way i'm doing in here or you can also do it by measuring the designs you want to do it on the wall to me i thought it was it was just much easier this way and especially since this is oscar's room i wanted it for him to be involved in this and i just let him do his own design so in here i'm just going by the picture and i am pretty much eyeballing the painter's tape and going by the design that he is doing. The colors that we are using on this uh, feature wall are gonna be black, gray, white, and a pink. His favorite color is pink and he really, really wanted it some sort of a pink color into his feature wall. It was a little tricky at the beginning because he was like, I don't want a pink that would look like extremely girly. 
uh, but I still want some pink on my pattern. And so we did went with a sort of darkish pink. He loves anime. And so we were going to a color that will kind of scream um, anime. And you will see at the end how pretty and amazing it looks. It really does look like anime. And he really, really loves his feature wall. And this is the way the pattern will look at the end. Obviously, they're all going to have different colors. Now, I do have a lot, a lot of samples from other projects that I have done. And I did use a gray one and a black one. We end up going and buy a new pink. Again, because I didn't have the pink that he would like. I did have some purples because of one project that I did with Ivan's room when we did his galaxy ceiling but we still had to go and buy the pink and again i will link all the colors that i used down on the description and everything that i used on this video but yeah we are going with black gray and then the lines are gonna be in white where the tape is and then pink and here i was just asking him where he wanted it the colors even though i knew with his pattern that i did but i just wanted to make sure that i was doing it the way or the colors that he wanted it or maybe he would want it to add more and i mean you can still go back because it's paint and even though he was okay with the pink color i told him if you end up not liking it all we can do is just put another different color on top of it and we can just fix it there was a few things that i wish i would have done differently um first you literally have to take your time to do a pattern and once you do your pattern you have to do it on one day i did took more than one day because he wasn't sure with what color he wanted it or and you can see in here that we went with one pink and then a different shade of pink and we end up going with a darker one when you take the tape out there's bleed out if you wait too long and here you can see this is how it ended up looking and this was the following day but it was two days after we did the gray and the black and when we took the tape out there was bleed out from the black so my recommendation is that if you're going to do a feature wall like this make sure that you have all your paints uh, ready and then do it all in one day and take the tape out in one day so that way you don't have a lot of bleed out but at the end the results are amazing you can see in here how it looks and it actually doesn't look too girlish especially because that shade of pink it's dark and in the night it looks pretty pretty nice <laughs> how it looks guys a little bit more darker in here and then you'll see how it looks in the daylight hope you guys enjoy this don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did also subscribe so you can be part of the family and turn on your bells notifications so you can be notified when i upload the next and i will see you in the next one bye